Join me as I take on the hilarious challenge of teaching my dog some epic tricks and commands that will not only impress you but leave you laughing hysterically. In today's video, we're diving headfirst into the wild world of dog training, but with a fun twist. We're going beyond the basic sit and stay and jumping into quirky tricks that are sure to make your friends and family smile. Whether it's a dramatic game of play dead or getting my dog to back up on command, we're covering it all. If you're looking for some creative training ideas or just want to see the antics my dog gets up to, then you're in for a treat. First things first, setting realistic expectations. Let's be honest, as much as we'd love to think our dogs will master tricks in one afternoon, that's usually not the case. Teaching dogs new commands takes time, patience, and a lot of treats. There's no one-size-fits-all in dog training either. Every dog learns at their own pace, and each one has their own little quirks that make the process unique. My dog, for instance, loves to show off, but only when there's a promise of food involved. Before we start, let me share a bit of advice that's helped me through this journey. Short and sweet, keep training sessions brief. Just like us, dogs can lose focus if a session drags on too long. 15 minutes a day is more than enough. Consistency is key. Practicing a trick consistently, even for just a few minutes each day, can lead to better results than sporadic sessions. Positive reinforcement. Your dog wants to make you happy. Make sure to use lots of praise, treats, and affection when they nail a trick. Now, let's get into the fun stuff. The tricks. One, spin. We're starting with one of the cutest tricks out there, teaching your dog to spin in circles. I'll hold a treat just above my dog's head, moving it in a wide circle to guide them around. It's a simple trick, but it's so effective and fun. Plus, it gives your dog a nice workout for both their body and mind. After a few spins, they'll be twirling like a professional dancer. Two, play dead. This one's always a crowd pleaser. I'll guide my dog down into a lying position with the command bang, and with a bit of dramatic flair, they'll flop onto their side and freeze. It's hilarious to watch and never fails to impress guests. The best part is watching them get into character, really selling the dead act. Bonus points if you can add a little fake sneeze or cough for extra drama. Three, back up. If you've ever wanted your dog to back away on command, this trick is perfect. By standing in front of my dog with a treat and slowly stepping toward them, I'm able to encourage them to take steps backward. It can take a little while for them to understand what you're asking, but once they get it, they'll be backing up like a pro. It's also super useful in situations where you need your dog to give you a little space, whether at home or in public. 4. Bow Ever seen a dog take a bow? It's such an adorable trick. I guide my dog into a bowing position by holding a treat down between their front paws, keeping their back end raised. With a bit of practice, they'll be bowing on command like they're about to take a curtain call at a theater show. It's perfect for photos too. Imagine your dog bowing for the camera after showing off all their new tricks. 5. High Five This classic trick never gets old. Teaching your dog to give you a high five is not only fun but also super simple. By holding my hand out and waiting for my dog to paw at it, I can encourage them to repeat the motion. It's such a fun way to interact, and let's be honest, who doesn't love a good high five? 6. Roll Over Rolling over is another iconic trick that dogs of all sizes can learn. With my dog lying down, I'll guide them over with a treat, encouraging them to complete a full roll. It takes a bit of patience and timing, but once they get the hang of it, it's a trick they'll want to show off over and over again. Watching my dog roll around, belly up, is always good for a laugh. If you have liked the video so far, please consider subscribing. 7. Peekaboo For something a bit more advanced, teaching your dog to play peekaboo is an adorable way to bond. I'll position myself with my legs slightly apart and call my dog to come between them. On cue, they pop up between my legs as if to say, surprise! It's a heart-melting moment every time and one of my personal favorites to teach. 8. Fetch the remote now, this one is a game changer for lazy afternoons. Teaching your dog to fetch specific items, like the TV remote, is not only practical but hilarious too. I'll start by teaching my dog to recognize the remote and then encourage them to bring it to me. It's definitely a more advanced trick, but if you can get your dog to fetch things for you, they'll become the ultimate furry assistant. 9. Fetch the leash Ever wished your dog could bring their own leash when it's time for a walk? I'm teaching my dog to fetch the leash on command! I start by showing them the leash and associating it with walks, which they already love. Then, by placing the leash within their reach and using a simple command like leash, 
I reward them every time they bring it to me. It's a trick that's practical and makes prepping for walks a breeze. 10. Say hello, bark on command. Teaching your dog to speak or bark on command is not only a great way to entertain, but also useful in certain situations. By pairing the word speak with a hand signal and some patience, your dog will start barking on cue in no time. It's particularly fun for greeting friends or as part of a routine. My dog, who's usually quiet, gets a kick out of saying hello to guests, which always makes for some great laughs. 11. Cross paws. For a sophisticated touch, I'm also working on teaching my dog to cross their paws while lying down. Using a treat, I guide their paw across their body and reward them for holding the position. It's a subtle but super cute trick that makes for perfect photos and really showcases your dog's elegance. 12. Shaping behavior with gradual steps. Shaping is a technique where you reward your dog for small steps toward the final behavior you want. This is particularly useful for more complex tricks. If you're teaching your dog to roll over, you'd first reward them for lying down, then for shifting onto their side, and finally, for completing the roll. This method helps break down large, complicated tasks into manageable parts, making it easier for your dog to succeed. 13. Capturing natural behaviors. Instead of luring or guiding your dog into a position, this technique involves capturing a behavior your dog does naturally and reinforcing it with a reward. For example, if your dog naturally stretches, you can add a cue to that action by praising and treating them every time they do it. Eventually, you can pair the behavior with a command like stretch or bow. This is great for teaching tricks that your dog already does on their own. Unexpected surprises in training. Of course, not every session goes as planned. Sometimes my dog gets a little too excited and tries to combine tricks like spinning and playing dead all at once. It's moments like these that remind me why training can be so fun. Even the mistakes are hilarious and adorable. We'll often end up rolling around laughing together, which is a great way to bond after a long training session. Training with purpose. It's important to remember that training isn't just about showing off tricks. It's about building trust and communication with your dog. When we take the time to teach them new skills, we're strengthening our relationship and understanding. Every time my dog learns something new, I can see the confidence growing in them, and that's a reward in itself. Final thoughts. And that wraps up today's dog training adventure. I hope you had as much fun watching as we did learning these new tricks. Whether you're teaching your dog to spin, play dead, or even fetch the remote, remember that the key to success is patience, consistency, and most importantly, having fun together. Every training session is a chance to strengthen the bond you share with your dog. So celebrate every small win along the way. If you try out any of these tricks, I'd love to hear how it goes in the comments below. And don't forget, training isn't just about what your dog can learn. It's also about building trust and creating memories that last a lifetime. Make sure to check out my other videos for even more tips and tricks. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all things dog training. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep having fun with your furry friend. Thanks for tuning in to today's training adventure. I hope you enjoyed watching my dog's hilarious attempts at these fun tricks. Don't forget to give them a try at home, and let me know in the comments how your training sessions go. I'd love to hear about your experiences. Also, don't forget to check out my other videos for more dog training tips, and hit that subscribe button for even more content. Happy training, and I'll see you in the next video.